Now that we have reviewed the navigation structure of the course with the vertical column of tabs and the horizontal row of buttons, I would like to talk about how to actually get started doing coursework in ART 1200. The first thing that you should do when you log into the course is always read any new course announcements. And you can do that by clicking on the announcements tab that we talked about in the previous video. Or I've embedded an RSS feed that will pull the 10 most recent announcements and display them on your home page. Before you do anything, you should kind of glance through the RSS feed here and see if there's any new announcements, and if there are, you should click on them. And then you should read whatever is included on the announcement. When you're ready to get started, there is a Start Here button, and that's an indicator that that's where you should start the course. Make sure that you're reading through all the information that's posted. It's important information, and I've tried to make it as succinct as possible, but you'll see at times there's quite a few words that you have to read on the page. Um, I've done it so that we, are providing, that we are providing all the information that you need to be successful. As you read through the first required uh, introduction paragraphs here, you will know that you have to complete the introduction module, which is module 00, and you can navigate to that by clicking on the link provided, or if you click on the modules tab, it will always dump you into that pre-module or module 00. Modules are set up in a a similar pattern. So every time you click on a module, whether it's module 4 or module 9 or module 00, which is what we're going to focus on in this video, is it will start with a little introduction paragraph that explains really the purpose of the module and what you'll be doing. There will be an indication of how much time you should expect to spend completing the module. And you'll see I usually do a range of like three hours um, because not everyone's going to get it done in two hours or four hours or three hours. And so there's, there's kind of a range. However, that range is for an average student. And so some students might get done much faster and some students might take longer. And so you have to figure out what type of student you are. And if you are consistently taking longer than the average, when you log in and it says to expect to spend two to four hours, you might say, well, for me, that means I'm going to spend four to six hours working on the course content. And that's okay. You should take the amount of time that you need to fully understand what's being covered. For module zero zero, you're going to read through a series of things that you need to do. And so the first chunk, the bulleted list or the numbered list that you see here um, is explaining how the course is structured and really what your goals of this intro module are. When you're done reading the course structure, you'll see that there are required activities and required submissions. Make sure that you're clicking through all of the required activities on the left-hand side. I'm not going to read through them with you because I believe that you know how to read and that you'll be able to read through them. But each one serves a different purpose. I need to launch the Adobe screen. InDesign C. Pause it. Um, they're all going to open a new tab. So you notice when I clicked them, they opened in a new tab. The idea is that you're going to click on Getting Started in Art 1200. It's going to launch this page here, which explains how to get started. There's a little introduction video on how you can learn a little bit more about me. And then the videos that you're currently watching are going to be embedded here as well. When you're done, go ahead and close out of it. Go back to the module and open up the, new, uh, the next uh, new tab, which is Guidelines for Taking Online Classes. Read through the content that's published and repeat that for all of the different pages that are required during the first week of the semester. The last item is what is Adobe InDesign. That's actually a video that I found on adobe.com that I'm going to link you to. I think it does a really good job of explaining what InDesign is and what it's used for. A lot of students who register for this class don't really know what InDesign is. They, they know what Photoshop is, they've heard of Illustrator, but InDesign is kind of this foreign software program that nobody really knows what it does. So if you do nothing else um, except for watch that video, that's probably the most important thing for me. With that being said, all the other items are important because in order to successfully complete the four required submissions for Module 00, which are an initial response activity, a profile picture, an introduce yourself to the class activity, and a syllabus quiz, you must have completed all the required activities or you'll be missing the information or knowledge base necessary to complete those submissions. At the very end of the module, uh, there is a little note that says, we are looking for feedback in order to make this course better for future students. Please consider taking a brief course introduction survey after you've completed all the activities on this page. Um, we are constantly seeking to make the online uh, content for ART 1200, whether you're taking this class 
online, on campus, or as a flipped classroom hybrid. And so if you have a few minutes, it shouldn't take more than five minutes, anytime you see a little thing at the bottom that says survey, will you please submit the information or, or provide feedback via the survey? When you click on it, it'll open in a new tab and you'll see there are multiple choice questions for the most part and they should not take more than five, question, um, five minutes to answer. I think the longest one has 10 questions and so if you do that, it would be greatly appreciated by myself and the other faculty who teach Art 1200. Okay, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to make sure that everyone can click on Module 00, read through all of the course content on the page, and in the next video, I'll talk specifically about the requirements for submissions for Module 0.